Hey guys, it's me again. This time I don't have a lizard with me, so just don't mention anything about that. Uh, that was pretty funny. I liked your comments on that last video I made. Uh, but this video is going to be a little bit more interesting because I think more of you guys will like to be able to know how to do this. It's also 3D scanning, but it's a little bit cooler. So let's get into it right now. Okay, so this is how to scan your face in 3D. So, this app is called Bellos 3D, B-E-L-L-U-S 3D. It's on the App Store only for iPhones, which is kind of sad. And you have to pay $7.99 to be able to scan it and be able to import it into 3D. Uh, so here we go. So you click this button. Look at the, the bottom, arrow. And then you look. Turn left. Into the hole, and then you turn, turn to the middle. To the left. Turn right. To the middle. Turn to the middle. To the right. Capture and completed. The and then it processes. And then you can see my really creepy face. Uh, it's, it's ready to be exported. Which you click that button right there. And you do STL. And then you can email it to yourself or do anything along those lines. And so now I'll, I'll teach you the next step. Okay, so for the next step of this process, there's two things you will need to do. You'll need to have your face file somewhere on your computer that you know where it is. And the second thing is you need to download Mesh Mixer. I will put a link in the video description. And so you can just go right in there and click on it. Um, and I'll also put in a Cura link too, in case you just already don't have Cura. Uh, so your first step is to go into Mesh Mixer and open it up. And I'm gonna click not now, that always pops up. I can always install that later. I clicked import and then I scroll down to the thing that says my face. See, I've already made this before. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it like this. So you generate this in and now you can see that it's a little bit uneven and I also experienced the problem is that it won't automatically work as an STL. You have to make it a solid. So that's one thing we have to do in Mesh Mixer, which is why I have to use the Mesh Mixer in the first place, which is annoying, but I'll show you how you can get that solid here pretty quickly. So what you want to do is click select and then you get this little brush thing. Um, and you can just brush this back area because this tends to be a kind of a problemed area for the most part. It doesn't like really um, working too well. So once you have that selected, you can go to edit and discard. So now you have a pretty flat area and then you go to edit over on the side right over here, click that. And then on this piece, it says make solid and then you click make solid and this is what it does next. So from there, you should have, once it finishes at least, you should have a solid model for the most part. Um, and it's not gonna be perfect, but it will work. And then you wanna update it, print, and then export and then we'll export it as whatever you want to name it and so i'm just going to do this uh, just type whatever the heck i just typed on there and i'm going to save it to my desktop and so that's it for that and then i'm not going to save this one because i've already saved it then you can load it as an stl and print it out and i will get to you once that print finishes so I'll see you then.
Okay, so you just finished up with the time lapse, so here's the actual print. Uh, it turned out perfectly, and it's awesome, and it's pretty creepy too, but it really worked. And that's pretty impressive for only spending seven bucks on that. So, yep, that's uh, pretty much the video. I'll leave all the links that you need to go to be able to do this project for yourself in the description. Remember, you will have to pay seven dollars to be able to upload to STLs. Uh, that's the only downside, but seven dollars to be able to end up with something like this, I think is pretty worth it. So, you guys just go like, comment, and subscribe on the video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.